and for the Coldwater Cavaliers, this marks the fifth straight season the Cavaliers find themselves in the state championship game. 75th contest in that stretch and a chance to defend their Division 5 crown against a Bishop Hartley team they beat in Columbus Week 2, kind of the turning point of the season for Coldwater. Looking for their fourth state title overall, but it'll be their first repeat first quarter. Hawks deep in Coldwater territory, fourth and eight going for it. Brody Hoing smartly knocks it down to the Cavs take over at their own 23. And after one quarter, there is no score. Ensuing drive for the Cavs into the second quarter now. Hoing completes to All-State receiver Adam Klosterman, a 13-yard gain to the Hawks' 39-yard line. Later in the drive, third and four. Hoing going to keep it. Gets the first down at the 11. Drive would stall. Matt Kramer's 30-yard field goal puts Coldwater up 3-0. Late in the half, Cavs ball near midfield. Hoing, time to pass. Find senior Drew Otten, 13-yard gain to the Hartley 36. Couple of plays later, Coldwater remaining in the air. Hoing to Mitch Shanehair, playing hurt, but he has room to run. A 23-yard pickup down to the nine. Very next play, Hoing is going to keep it. Otten and Mitch Clooney give him a huge hole, a nine-yard touchdown run. Coldwater up 10-0 at the half, much to the delight of the freezing student section. Actually, it wasn't that cold, if you can consider 20 degrees that cold. Third quarter for Cass Fumble, <laughs> Hawks at the seven. Jared Brandoy, son of former Buckeye and Fort Warren Mary native Tom Brandoy, keeps it. Hawks cut the lead to three, then the turnovers become the story. Clooney with the sack fumble. Mitch Fullenkamp recovers at the Hartley 19-yard line. Next play, Cavs going deep in the playbook. Pitch to Kramer on the reverse, looking to pass, but Jacob Mercier intercepts at the Hartley 3-yard line. Hawks put together a nice drive. First play of the fourth quarter. It's fourth and one. They're going for it. Brando, he picks up two yards to the Cavs, 16. After a sack, it's second and long. Brando, back to pass. Not the Hawks' strong suit throws deep. And Hoing makes the interception. And just like in week two, a second half Hawk turnover, the key play of the game, as Hoing returns it all the way to the Coldwater 36 yard line. Cavs keep it on the ground, eating up clock and yardage. Third and goal, Hoing, he's going to keep it. Touchdown, Cavaliers back up to a 10 point lead, 17 7. Five and a half minutes to go. Hawks need two scores. Cavs pass. Rush coming through. Austin Klosterman the sack. Hawks would turn it over on down. Hartley three of seven on fourth down conversions. And then Coldwater puts it away. Who else? Junior Brody Hoying, the D5 Offensive Player of the Year, scores all three Coldwater touchdowns. Finishes with 145 yards rushing on 24 carries. Complete seven of 12 for 83 in the air. As the Cavs repeat 24 to seven. Hoying the star with the big plays as he did it for the seniors and what they were expecting out of Brody Hoying all season long. Uh, he's been like that for us all year, and he's a, he's a special player. He has all the tools. He's smart, he's uh, quick, he's fast, and most importantly, he's got a toughness that when it's time to make a play, he's the guy who can do it. Coming into this season, we thought we were going to have a tough season. You know, we had a tough schedule with Hartley in week two, and after we beat them, we kept rolling, and uh, the back-to-back -back titles is awesome for us. We came out here today knowing it wasn't going to be easy, and it wasn't, but the score doesn't show how tough of a game it really was. Yeah, Brody, they always talk about He's doing it for the seniors, and he really played for us today. You can really see on how he plays. He plays so hard, so much passion, and we really thank him because he's a big part of this team. Uh, I mean, it, it means a lot. You know, this team was supposed to beat us, and this game was supposed to be really close, and we gave a lot of effort. A lot of guys, young guys had to step in, and we worked really hard this year to earn it. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, turnovers pretty much. They're, they're a big deal in football. Turnovers will win you or you lose your games, and luckily we had enough today to come out on top. Uh, they ran a deep flag route, and I had the deep half of the field. Uh, the quarterback kind of just lobbed it up there, and I went up and got it and brought a good return back on it. Well, it, 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 I guess it validates uh, for all of us coaches that that um, when you coach them up and they work hard, you got a shot. You know, Last year, I guess it was kind of almost like expected. You guys should should go and win it, and this year at, uh, I don't, it, it's just – Mainly for the kids and those seniors that, that weren't even supposed to make the playoffs this year. So really proud of those guys and, and so much fun for them. It's unbelievable. Words can't even describe it. I always dreamed about it, but living it's so much better. And it's just so awesome to be here.